Writing with a feather might be more complicated than you think, because you can't just write with any feather. You're going to want to pick one of the first five flight feathers of a large bird, and feathers have a natural curve too, so if you're left-handed, feathers from the right wing will fit best. And then you have to manipulate the material. You have to soak the feather and then dry it out in hot sand to cure the quill and get that perfect combination of sturdiness and flexibility. Let's hope you're good at whittling, because if you just slice a feather diagonally, diagonally and try to write with it, the ink is just gonna drain out and leave a big puddle. So there's a slit, a scoop, and then a series of four precise cuts you have to make to form the nib that's gonna let you glide gently across the page. And then you have to set up your writing station. You have to write on an angled surface so that gravity interacts with the ink correctly. And you have to know how to break down each letter by stroke because a quill can very easily pull ink down the page, but it's very hard to push it up the other way.